Welcome back. I had fun. That was that was good. Um, let's go for Mario 64 Remastered. I just saw this one on Reddit. Somebody used the uh, the RPG to kill the can the the pat the the pat the, the, the patriarch, and he did a lot better than I did when I did the same thing. So we're gonna go get a little bit of um, revenge. This, this is not a map where you want to fight the matriarch. It's a bad matriarch map. Suits and boots, guys. We got something. I mean, every map is a bad matriarch map because I just really hate that boss. Love this gig. I remember in KF1. Shooting on hills was so hard because, like, their hitboxes wouldn't change the same way that their models would. So you have to, like, aim... I forget how it was, but you have to aim not directly at their head, but somewhere else. Because their head hitbox wouldn't actually be where their head was. I'm really happy that there isn't uh, the same thing in KF2. Because that was something that really got... I never really got used to it. I was never able to adjust my shots on like stairs or ramps or whatever. Come on. Man, the nail gun is just so good. The HRG weapons in general are kind of either really good or really god awful. We're probably not gonna need to check out the shop on this one. I also didn't go for the armor and the pistol, but I don't really care. Break time's over. Get back to work. More Zeds inbound. It's not gonna matter. Careful! Plug Zed! Where? Three shots, three headshots to kill the scoot? God. It's so weak. It's so unbelievably weak. Gore fiend. You know what? We'll just spray on him. Same with you. Let's get a little bit of spray and pray going on because I am panicking. What are we here, boys and girls? Oh boy. This is fine. I think that this pistol might actually be more powerful. If I can hit. Yeah, it's stronger than the. You guys can just take this. Am I gonna die on wave two? I really don't want to, but we might. Okay. Did he just like motion that his like that he was gonna like slit my neck? Ah, oh, I didn't know you could do that on hard. I didn't know they could do that on hard. I thought that was suicidal and above. Otherwise, I wouldn't have died to that. If I knew he could do it, I wouldn't have died. <sighs> Let's just pretend that one didn't happen. <sighs> it was it was the panic spray. That was that was what did it. And you know what? We're gonna just do that because apparently I'm really really bad. 
Apparently I'm the worst Kaling Floor 2 player in existence. The mission is underway. Lock and load. That death was not because I was cocky and thought I didn't need to go get ammo. It was because I overused the ammo. Now that's bullet time. Cause a hundred some odd bullets is, is enough. Especially if I just walked around and found ammo Watch crates. Out. I think that there's usually one down over here. I think. I don't play on this map very often, so I don't know where they all spawn at, but I think there's one down here. Isn't there? At any rate, with the two... 9mm, we're really not going to need ammo anyway. Can you get rid of this water? Does this water kill me? Okay. <laughs> I was going to walk into it if it did. I was going to find out. That could have been the end of the run. <laughs> Some maps do that. They, they make just things that look like it shouldn't kill you. But it definitely does. We're good. Just get me to the next wave as soon as possible, please and thank you. Okay, and on this wave, we're going to want to switch this over. Cloaka! I wonder what that is. Is it like ambient inclusion? I don't know. That's so much more powerful. You be dead. It's amazing how weak the SMG you start with is. Also amazing how much better. Come on. This, this run has gone so far. Like, this is what, three shots? Yeah. It's nothing. We don't have anybody that we need to worry about. Oh, we do have the, the siren still. This guy, probably, gonna want to do that. See if we can get the headshot on him. Trying to get better at the, the bash, okay? Am I on like a harder difficulty than hard? Because I feel like I'm not, but I also feel like I am. Not sure. It's weird. But we get the nail gun now, so everything gets to die. Oh, this weapon is so much fun. What other HRG weapons are there? So we got nothing for you. Nothing for you. Dual HRG buckshots. That seems okay. Might might give out this a try. I don't think it's that good. I think I have tried it. Uh, obviously, this is god tier. HRG incendiary rifle is honestly not that good. Maybe when you have like higher level perks, I think it can fire grenades, right? Um, and then you got survivalist. Nobody, nobody cares about survivalist. I think they have something. I might, I might try them out. I have it at level 25, but I perk level mapped it. 
Oh boy. Bring it. Where are they? They're down there. We have time. Bring it. Yeah. Oh, that's so much fun. Shooting nails and stuff is kind of always been like you get like a stapler or something as a kid. And you know, everybody did it, okay? You'd like use it as a gun and like shoot staples at people. So this here is like you know, everybody's dream come true. He's firing nails into people's faces and decapitating them. Okay, so maybe not everybody's dream, but an extension of it. Oh, it's so good. Also, the hitbox on these, like, knife things is fantastic. Because, like... You can hit it as they're like flailing around and how accurate is it? Reasonably accurate. Reasonably accurate. You're not, you know, a marksman with it, but it's It's okay. It's okay. We're not gonna get twenty, unless I did like suicidal or hell on earth, we might have got it. My child, an endless run with this. Yeah, I see this one. Oh, so good. My child, an endless run. Not today, because I've already done one endless run, and I don't have the time for one that I think could honestly go pretty long. So again, I want to try to record like a bunch of episodes today. Just to have a backlog. It's stressful having to like record a whole bunch. I want to have like a day that I sit down and I record, you know, all 14 episodes back to back to back. Um, I think that the matriarch would probably outdo this weapon. I'm not sure how well we'd be able to handle that armor with this, but I think that. The, pa the, the Patriarch should get completely destroyed by this. Obviously, it's hard, so and we're so low, so we, we can kill any of the bosses if I just try hard enough and don't mess it up. I'm sorry, dude, but you don't get to attack me. Please, just hit. Oh, we got a we got a scrape. Scrakes? I feel like they're harder to kill than flesh pounds, but maybe I'm just wrong. <laughs> That's always possible. Like as they're like wiping their mouths, you can like shoot the the cleavers. It's awesome. It's it's frustrating when it happens and like kind of messes you up, but it is awesome that it can happen. It's really cool. Um I'll go for the P90. Upgrade that. I like the P90. The only reason I like it is because I used it a lot in Combat Arms back when I played that. <laughs> so, I don't really have a, a practical reason for liking it. I just do. Abomination. I'm not sure how well this one will go. I don't know. Pretty well, I'm guessing, because this is... A very powerful weapon with piercing, so we can kill the, the little dudes pretty easily. Oh, come 
down. I wanted to get his head exploded. Oh yeah, just annihilated him. Completely annihilated him. I think we can do suicidal with SWAT. I'm not sure about Hell on Earth. But definitely suicidal. I'm enjoying this weapon. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna be using it in the few, in the coming videos for sure, because I'm really liking it. It's fun. I never used it before. I used to play Killing Floor 2 long time ago, and then I came back, and back then the HRG weapons weren't there, so I'm like discovering them all and oh, so far. They've they've been pretty good. That's gonna do it for this episode. Uh, see you guys later. Bye bye.